I'm at Creekside Fellowship Church uh, in Cartersville, and I'm here with Pastor Mike Abernathy. Pastor, tell us why you're here. we're at the New Year's Eve service, and y'all are taking a little break from the service. Tell us what you think God's going to be doing in the next year uh, in general and may, at your church. I just share with our group, I believe God's going to have some refreshing times coming. And in, in the church world, you're going to have God's Holy Spirit coming to bless people. He says if we'll repent, then, then He is going to bless us with times of refreshing. And I believe that the church has had enough. I believe the church is going to come back to Christ. Trials, tribulations, things like that, they just bring you to a place but where you will repent. I believe the church houses are going to fill up this coming year, and I believe the Holy Spirit's going to put out a river of life and grace and mercy for people, and I just look for, for an outpouring of the Holy Spirit in, in this coming year. God surely has got to bless us. America's got our problems. Outside the world got its problems, and we've got the answer. And I just believe the Holy Spirit's going to flow and the church is going to prosper in the coming year. Pastor, your church is one of the most active in our community of being out in the public and doing certain things. What is it that you do or what do you think goes on at your church that, that your people get out active in the community more than a lot of other churches? Our church is a soul winning church. And we, every Sunday I ask our people one thing. I say, what's the number one job of the church? And everybody says winning souls. And, and so our church has got a mentality, we're going to get out there and win the lost. A lot of important things. It's good to have a beautiful building. It's good to have something else. But if you look around our church, it's no horse barn. And, and there's a horse stall right there, right there, right there, right there. And uh, out of this old horse barn, we started a ministry. But that ministry was putting souls first. People come first. Not buildings, not presentations, and, and flat work. But I believe the key is going to be helping the poor. I believe it's going to be going to the jails, going to the prisons. It's going to be get out there and reach people while we still got time to reach them. For, the, for laymen, or, or you said a term a minute ago, winning souls. In layman's terms, or for, for I guess, uh, idiots to the Christian faith that don't understand that term, what exactly does that mean to win a soul? Christ Jesus paid the price for each one of us. To accept Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. To submit to Him. Not, not, not for an event or not one, for a one-time thing, but it means to completely surrender. When we win the loss of Jesus Christ, we're taking a man who's lost and headed for hell. There's no way. You know, every, every, every drunk out there knows he's a drunk. Every time we go to a jail service, they already know they're, they're in trouble. It's the pluck, as we were just sitting here talking about in Jude 1, 22 through 23 and 24, to reach into that river before they die or before they lose their life. Drug addicts, the thief, the liar, the cheater, the adulterer, on down the list. Find those people that know they're in trouble to reach down in the river and to pull them out. That's what he did to me. He saved me just in time. And to be saved as we born again, change my way of thinking, change my way of direction. He said, you'll be a new creature in Christ Jesus. Behold, all things pass away and all things become new. Isaiah 118, he said, though your sins were as red blood on you, he said, I'll make his wife snow. Forgiveness of sins and a new life. Thank God for a new life. Give you a new direction, take you and put you. I thank God for people in our church a few years ago were drug addicts, they were in jail, and now there's some of our, probably 90% of our church are actually drug addicts or thieves, and, and that's, that's the kind of people we want. We, 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 we're in these kind of <laughs> But we want to be a church and pluck people out of fire and give them a place to go. Common, everyday people that just want to live for Christ. One last thing. If the Lord tarries 50 plus years from now, what is it you would like people to remember about Mike Abernathy? A man of love, a man of kindness, a man who loved people, and he was a soul winner. Above all else, and he loved God with all his heart. Maybe, maybe when they put that little dash on there, it'll mean more than just 1953 to maybe 2014 or 2015 or 2016. But that dash, maybe he'll like look back and say, he loved people. I'd be happy if that's what they remember to be asked. Pastor, thank you so much. Y'all do a great job in the community, and I look forward to coming back and being with you again soon. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you.